Loads has been going on in the world of Star Citizen for the week ending the 29th of August 2021. Let's take a look and summarize all of that news and info. Alpha 3.14.1 is out and significantly improved. It's more stable as a patch than the previous 3.14.0 branch. This works out pretty well because we had a free fly and we've got the Xeno Threat event, which is now live. That mission is running for the next few days, that Xeno Threat mission, and you can run the full cargo to fleet battle phase all in one go or just stay put for one part of it if you want it works really well it seems to be fully functional have a reasonably good frame rate and it's pretty good fun yes it's still an alpha and some people are gonna certainly have a better time than others but it was surprising that they were able to have 50 players on a server and actually able to do xeno threat without everything exploding it really worked pretty well and it was obviously um, somewhat remastered and you can see that in the event there's a lot of feedback that they've absorbed with this and um, yeah you should get involved for getting involved in xeno threat you will actually get a forum badge just for playing in one of the missions but there's also a xeno threat set of armor to earn as you assist in pushing back xeno threat into pyro space you'll begin to earn reputation with the cdf each level of reputation you earn has rewards tied to it and earning the maximum amount of reputation will get you an exclusive helmet, flight suit, and chest armor. It will be added to your RSI account, so it won't be wiped in the future. Just run the mission a few times and you'll have it all. This week's sneak peek looked at the Ares cockpits. So this is the heavy fighter with the Inferno and Ion variants that are coming in Alpha 3.15. Very hype for that floating gun, um, which is basically what it is, a big gun that floats in space. Uh, Inside Star Citizen, um, Editorial Territorial was the name of the episode we had this week, and it had some tangible updates actually. Maria Purifart Hospital is getting work. This hospital is coming after 3.15. Hacking ports and associated gameplay for hacking have been further developed, um, allowing interfaces in walls, floors, and other services, along with um, some cool USB type hacking keys. The Nix system is having assets built out for it, and we saw some fauna and plateaued rocks, and we even saw height maps for uh, one of the more mined out planets there. We saw the Vulture in White Box and a potential Drake HUD. There were various concepts of the uh, Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2951 banners and locos. Pressure damage is getting work too. Space Wells had some impressive concept shops of potential gameplay and sort of like the vistas that you'll be able to have that involve Space Wells. And we saw uh, sort of like players or characters on top of the Space Wells, potentially mining barnacles off them. But I, I love the idea that these whales are going to breach the surface of Crusader and that you might have to land on them and there's some gameplay associated with um, sort of looting uh, the top of them before they then, well we've only got a certain amount of time before they go back into damaging dangerous depths uh, of the Crusader gas giants. Star Citizen Live this week was Gangs of Pyro where Jay Lee did a, a concept of uh, some fire rats. So these are ship jackers from Pyro, they kind of worship the star and are a bit unhinged. They love fire and they're kind of culty. Um, they have self-inflicted burns and it's it's pretty Borderlandsy, Mad Maxi, and they have some armor, but it's very steampunk, scavenger, apocalyptic, sort of mixture of bare skin and some armor in a gladiatorial fashion. I love Jay Lee's t-shirt as well. A very good choice. We had a roadmap update with various new, more minor features added as well as Alpha 3.15 getting various features confirmed with the updated Broken Moon map, new missions, loot generation, bombs all making the cut and nothing well being cut yet. Um, and we know that medical gameplay and inventory updates are unlikely to be cut. So it's looking pretty good for that patch. Hopefully even more more content will be added and very little if uh, anything will be cut from it. Something that's pretty exciting that's coming in the future as well is both rivers and roads are firmly on the roadmap to receive work over the next few quarters. This is exciting because rivers are cool and breathe life into planets. Roads that allows us to drive from place to place more easily and if they've got sort of like um, new homesteads and outposts and points of interest connected to the major cities or um, just roads to drive around on planets I suspect that is going to vastly affect the game for a lot of players. The ship showdown is also underway at the moment with backers taking to Twitter to share screenshots, creations and other content on their favourite ships. This phase ends on the 6th of September and um, then the 16 most popular ships that are in-game that are flyable um, will then be put into the ship showdown where they'll face off against each other uh, 1v1s. Basically you'll choose your top ones starting from the 8th of September and um, these, all these 16 ships are going to be part of a sail in the future and the final four ships 
as selected by backers will also be in a epic free fly from the September the 20th to September the 27th. Um, so I don't know if it's a entirely free to play event like we've just had, but I would expect so. And that's what I'm expecting at the moment. And we'll have to wait and see. You're definitely going to have access to those ships, those final four ships, whatever they are. Um, but um, is it going to be everyone can also try Star Citizen for free again? Well, it makes sense because Cloud Imperium probably wants to spread the word of Star Citizen, get more players in. Cloud Imperium went on to say a spot in the final four of this celebratory smackdown will open the airlock for some fun surprises coming later this year. Typically, this is sort of some special skins made for those ships and people that have already got those ships get those for free uh, and a bit of a celebration but Cloud Imperium sound like they might have something more planned this time around. Boom! That's it for today's news. Have you been playing in Xenothreat and what do you think of the um, sort of remastered version of that event if you played in it before and now? Have you been playing in the Free Fly? What did you think? How's 3.14.1 treating you? What's your favourite ship and the ship that you hope wins or at least is in the top four at the Ship Showdown? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Mummy, I'm going to play Star Citizen when I get home. Well, little Timmy, you can't because hackers stole our house. This is a story I hear only too often. It was just one day before these two were going to get NordVPN. Now they have to live on the streets. Don't let that be you. Get NordVPN in the links below. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For August, we are giving away a Mercury Star Runner, the fantastic multi-crew hauler data mission runner, allowing you to do a little bit of everything the Star Citizen has to offer. To be in for a chance of winning that, comment on any of my videos made during the month. More details in the links below. If you'd like to further support the channel, consider becoming a channel member the join button down below you'll get some exclusive videos and content each month and it really does help us keep going there is also the new thanks button under my videos for another way of throwing money at us both me and zin appreciate all the support for the channel thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the verse